Hi, welcome to the fourth part of chapter 31, Americans' Life in the Roaring Twenties. Um, I want to start on page uh, 734 to talk briefly about, and again, I'm talking briefly about this because uh, it overlaps a lot of the sections of the chapter. So I'm going to go really, really quick through the idea of um, the automobile and how it impacted, um, you know, the, the majority of people in the United States and how it impacted the economy, um, you know, it was really the most important uh, inventions of, of the era. Um, for the most part, um, it, it spurred a, an industry in its own, um, you know, both economically and how it impacted domestically society. Uh, I want to talk about um, some of the other industries that actually uh, were impacted by the um, the development of the automobile. Uh, if you think about steel, the steel industry, um, you know, the it says here on page 734, um, the list of, would include rubber, gas, and fabrics, to say nothing of highway construction and thousands of service stations and garages. Um, America's standard of living responding to these functions vitality rose to an enviable level. You know, having an, a car uh, back in the day was really uh, sort of a luxury for the rich people, but now that Henry Ford invented and perfected the assembly line and we were producing cars cheaper, you could sell them cheaper, people were able to afford them, and they really became um, a necessity as, as, as also a part of the family life. Um, the premise of the assembly line actually came as a result of studies done by a guy named Frederick W. Taylor. Um, he's on your slides and he's in the chapter. Uh, he was the father of scientific uh, management in business. And uh, let me see if I can find it here really quick. Um, He is on page 733. It says, an enormous industry sprang into being as Detroit became the motor car capital of America. The, mechani the mechanized colossus owned much to the stopwatch efficiency techniques of Frederick W. Taylor, a prominent inventor, engineer, and tennis player who sought to eliminate wasted motion. Um, again, wasted motions in an assembly line, you don't have wasted motion. And as a result of that, you're more efficient, you move faster. Um, Something else about that I want to talk about the car itself was that as it became cheaper, uh, it was easier for people to own a car. And as a result of this, it had an impact on how the family functioned. Uh, the, uh, the automobile becomes a badge of freedom, especially for women. Uh, they were further free from the dependence on men. Uh, back then you didn't need a license. You just, you know, learn how to drive, you learn how to drive. Um, you know, isolation, the regions of the country became less and less isolated. Um, there was some bad, good impact and bad impact about the car. Um, you know, there were a lot of accidents. Um, in 30 years, by 1951, from 1920 to 1951, uh, roughly 30 years, uh, one million people had died in accidents in the United States. Um, you know, home life itself actually broke down. Uh, the family union as more and more cars are being produced more and more people have one two three cars and you know kids are just taking off families just taking off um, you know everybody on their own going different places so the family ties are broken um, again this is um, on page 735 where it's assuming motor cars were the agents of social change at first a luxury then rapidly became a necessity um, essentially devices for need of transportation they were soon developed into a batch of freedom and equality uh, it talks about women and um, you know um, how life itself was impacted by it uh, there was no way that they were going to return to the you know to the to the wagon and the buggy and the, and the horse carriage um, you know, this is going to lead to other advances. On um, page 736, I'm going to talk really quickly about the advances of um, how humans develop 
uh, wings. Uh, you guys know that in 1903, um, the Wright brothers actually took flight in their first prototype of the plane. The rapid development of airplane uh, design is going to take place um, in the night in the 19 te in the teens, and in very very early 1920s, it's going to be a boom of design in airships and uh, aircraft. Um, you know, this is going to change the way that we transport things. This is going to change the way that we travel. Um, the challenge um, was um, to try to push the envelope with this flying business. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh, of course, flew from New York to Paris uh, in the spirits of St. Louis, um, winning $25,000 in cash. Um, but again, it was really um more of the act itself uh the reward and how um air airplanes are going to really change the face of how america does business how america travels and how uh even the post office uh can have overnight delivery because of uh, airplanes and that was primarily the use at the very beginning um let's talk about very quickly about the radio um about the radio, a couple of things very quickly uh, was the fact that, um, well, first of all, it wasn't invented by American. It was an invented by it was invented by an Italian called Guillermo Marconi. Uh, it was further developed during World War II for the purposes of communicating in the battlefield. Um, eventually, when radio became an entertainment source, you know. Advertisers started watching it very closely, saying, mm, "You know, I think we can start advertising things over the radio." And products became began to actually influence the way that radio shows were transmitted. Advertising actually jumped and started. A product will sponsor shows, like for example, you know the the Ivory Soap uh, Music Hour or the you know um, you know Ovaltine Story Hour or something like that. Um, so the advertisers were very, very quick to actually jump on the bandwagon of the radio and uh, use it as a tool for marketing and for um, for the advertising. I'm going to stop here very quickly and actually start again in the next lecture talking about um, the movies and the other forms of entertainment and how they impacted society. Okay, thank you.